Hey there, and welcome back to Jovo Wednesday on Dabble App. This time I want to talk about staging for voice apps like Alexa Skills and Google Actions. So we're going to create a new project and then deploy to two different stages. We're going to have a stage on my personal uh, Alexa developer profile and then one on the Jovo developer profile, just to show how uh, different people in, in a team can work together. And so let's do this. Let's create a new project. Go to your terminal and type in Jovo new, we call it staging demo. Okay, now go into the project, open it in your code editor, and let's first uh, take a look at the project.js file. And so typically we have a models folder with the language model, we have a source folder where the code is in, where all the, the app logic is happening, a test folder for unit tests, and then also in the root of the project, we have a project.js file. We haven't looked at this much in recent episodes of uh, Joel Wednesday, but let's take a look at it now. And so what this says is, and so, uh, so the Joel project.js uh, is the Jovo project configuration. So we here it defines uh, which platforms it should be deployed to. So for example, we have an Alexa skill that uses the Alexa built-in natural language understanding. And then also we have a Google Action which uses Dialogflow for NLU. And as an endpoint for local development, uh, we're going to use uh, my personal Jovo webhook URL. And so this grabs each developer's webhook URL from their local computer and puts that there. And so, um, so this project.js file is used to uh, create platform specific folders. So if we now do something like Jovo build, for example, this will take the information from project.js and also from your language model. And um, as you can see here, it's, it detects the platforms Alexa skill and Google action, uses the ENUS uh, language file in the models folder, and then creates um, Alexa skill and Google action specific uh, files in the platforms folder, which you can find here. So here we have the Alexa skill and the Google action. When we deploy usually um, then, so there's this Jovo deploy command, this usually then just takes what's in the platforms folder. So for Alexa, for example, we have a skill.json file. Here the name is staging demo, for example. Here's my webhook URL that was generated from the project.js file. And then here we have a .ask folder with a config file. And what you can see here, the skill ID is empty. And so um, when the skill ID here is empty, then Joel creates a new Alexa skill project um, in the ask profile that you specified. And so let's do this. Um, what I want to do though, um, I want to just start with um, an Alexa skill um, for demo purposes because the deployment um, via CLI is a little easier there. But let's just do this. Let's do use Jovo deploy platform Alexa skill and deploy that. So this just created a new Alexa skill project with the name staging demo. It created a new skill ID and I will copy that for now. And with the invocation name, my test app and my endpoint, which is my Jovo Webhook URL. And what it's doing as well, which usually takes a while, is building the interaction model. And so let's go into the developer console. And so what this did, one more thing. Um, so it's it's done now. What this did is it used my um, it used my default ask profile. And so if you do ask in it here. You can find your ask profile. So my default profile is the Jovo Amazon developer account. And then we also have Jan, which is my personal developer account. And so if I log in now, you can find that here's my staging demo uh, skill here. And so here's my skill in the Jovo developer account. Okay, and so this is the 
the shared account that the Jovo team has to build Alexa skills. But typically, there are several people working on one skill, and this can sometimes cause conflicts. Um, sometimes um, the interaction model isn't up to date, and we're working on different feature branches and so on. And so this is why typically it makes sense to have different skill projects uh, for different stages. And this is what uh, Jovo staging can help you with. And so if you take a look at the project configuration docs here, um, you can find that um, we have different options that we can add to both the Alexa skill objects to the Google Action objects. Uh, we can even overwrite the language model, for example, in the project.js file. But then also here under deployment, you can find stages here. So we could define different stages and then ideally um, create different Alexa skill projects for different stages. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the project.js file. So what we could do here is we could create a new project with stages and then define different stages. So typically, um, I have a local stage for local development, which uses the Jovo webhook URL, and then a dev stage, which is, for example, hosted on AWS Lambda. So for now, we will use the Jovo webhook URL for, for both. So these can, this can stay outside the stage. But what we're going to do is we're going to create two different Alexa skill projects. And so what we can do here is we can add this Alexa skill object and define the skill ID. And so we have one skill ID for, for the local Alexa skill, and then we have a skill ID for the dev one. And as the dev one here was already um, deployed, we're gonna use this skill ID um, because that's the Jovo one. And, and so what I used here is the my default ask profile. And looking back at ask init for local, I want to use Jan as my ask profile here. Okay, so for the local stage, um, here the skill ID is still empty. And so ideally this would create a new skill um, project in my Jan ask profile. And then the dev skill has the skill ID here. And so and if you take a look at the project.js file, you can overwrite anything that you can find here. So we have ask profile, skill ID, um, anything that's in the skill.json, like an audio player thing, can be added to the project.js, similar with the Google Action. There's even language models that can be changed. So you can change the invocation name, for example, um, for different uh, for different skills. So you could do something like this, for example. So for for the dev stage, we could have my test app dev. And for the local stage, for example, we could have my test app local, just as an illustration. Okay, so let's take a look at this again. So um, if we take a look at the platform's Alexa skill folder, the language model is still the same. The skill.json is, is still pretty much the same. It uses my web URL. The config file has the skill ID here now. And so this gets added after the skill is created. So next time when deploying, it would try to grab this skill ID. And so we need to do another build for the local stage. And so let's, let's try this. We can do Jovo build stage local, for example. So we can add the stage to the CLI command and this will make a new build process. Okay, and so if we now take a look and at the config file now, the skill ID is empty. And the skill JSON you can find here, isn't anything changed here, but you can also find in the models folder, in the Alexa interaction model, in the platforms folder, you can find my test app local. Okay, and so we could try this, we could do Jovo deploy Alexa skill. And for now, we don't want to um, create the bundle um, dot zip, um, which we did in an earlier stage. This is just for the code deployment. We can add a target um, info, for example, as so we just deploy the skill information. And we need to add the stage as well. Stage local. Okay, so as you can see here, it's now taking my ask profile Jan. Create a new skill ID. So I'm going to copy this now. 
adding it to the project JS. And op I'm going to open a new window now. And here's the staging demo. And so this is in my personal account. So this has the my test app local uh, invocation name. And then also here's how I specified the stage again in the CLI. What we could also do is something like adding a adding something like a default stage, for example. So the default stage could be local for this part. So every time I do Jovo build, this would use the local stage here. And that's it. So we now have one local development skill, which can be found in my personal Alexa skill developer account. And then also we have a dev Alexa skill uh, stage, which can be found in a shared uh, Jovo developer account. And if you want to learn more, there's really a bunch of stuff that you can use to override all of the information. Anything that can go into the project JS can also go into a stage. And so this makes it really helpful to set up your own processes. You can even um, use um, environment variables, for example, and reference.env files, for example, for uh, storing skill IDs and all of that. But this is how I want to make the development process easier for, uh, for teams to work on projects together. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And um, if you like what we're doing, we always appreciate stars on GitHub. And yeah, let us know um, if there's anything you want me to cover in upcoming episodes of um, Jovo Wednesday on Double Lab. See you soon. Bye.